Well, good evening and welcome to Mike on the Mic. I'm Mike Hughes. Well, week number one of high school football around the state of Kansas in the books as tonight we move into week number two. Looking at games taking place around the area tonight, first a couple of unbeatens and a couple of state ranked teams as Phillipsburg, 1-0 on the season after a big win over Clay Center last week, 54-8, plays at Smith Center. The Red Men, quite a game with Plainville. A couple of top five ranked teams there. Smith Center number one, Plainville is ranked number three. Smith Center able to hold on with a 16-7 win. Now, a lot of turnovers and penalties in that ball game. 17 penalties and seven turnovers in that contest. Smith Center be able to hold on. Plainville drove late, had a chance uh, to come back and tie it up, but a sack, Dalton Kuhn on sophomore quarterback Jordan Finnessy made it a 16 to seven contest. Plainville unable to get anything going. Smith Center got the ball back and held out on time. Jordan Finnessy, a sophomore quarterback, watch him, he's a good one. Other games, he has great band. They're one and zero against Hayes, Hayes 0-1-1. Scott City defeated Hayes last week, 29-8, while Great Bend got a win over Coffeyville, 41-18. In your Next Tech Local 1 game of the week, you'll see here shortly here on Next Tech Local 1, Plainville getting 0-1 after the loss to Smith Center will be at Norton. Norton escaped last week. Some people thought this would be a rout, but Norton defeated Goodland only by a score of 37-34. Should be a good game for you here later on this evening. It'll be Logan Palco at Northern Valley. Both those teams want to know. Logan Palco defeated Tri Plains Brewster last week, 58 to 8. While Northern Valley won in a high scoring contest over Alma, Nebraska, 62 to 42. It'll be Quinter at Greeley County. Both those teams 0 and 1 on the season. Quinter lost to Dighton last week, 52 to 6. While Greeley County lost to Hoxie, 54 to nothing. It'll be Golden Plains at Pawnee Heights. Both those teams 1-0. Golden Plains defeated Natoma last week, 59-13. Pawnee Heights, Roselle got their win over Western Plains, shutting them out 51-0. And St. John's Beloit Tipton will be at Osborne. Both those teams 1-0. That should be a pretty good contest. Osborne defeated Thunder Ridge 60-14 in a shortened game there, while Beloit St. John's Tipton defeated Chase 28-12 last week. It will be Lakeside at Hoxie, Lakeside 0-1. They lost to Pike Valley 58-8. As we mentioned earlier, Hoxie defeated uh, Tribune Greeley County 54 to nothing. It's gonna be Stockton at Hill City. Now, of course, you saw Stockton Trigo uh, last week here on Next Tech Local One. Stockton lost to Trigo in overtime, a close game. 40 to 34, that game was played at Hill City due to a fire in the press boss box at Stockton on Thursday night. Fortunately, they were able to go to Hill City to play that contest against Trigo. And Hill City was shut out by Spearville, 48 to nothing. It'll be Salina Sacred Heart at Russell. Salina Sacred Heart victorious last week over Minneapolis, 41-20. Russell lost their opener to Ellsworth, 34 to six. It's gonna be Maxville, they're one to know on the season at Victoria. Maxville was Victorious over Nest City by a score 60 to 20. Thunder Ridge at Pike Valley, again, the Longhorns beat by Osborne 60 to 14. Pike Valley, a big win over Lakeside 58 to eight last week. TMP at Ellis, now this was quite a game. Or, uh, TMP and Ellis will be tonight, I'll make uh, that correction. TMP lost last week, 0-1. We'll talk about that game in a minute. Ellis won and 0. Ellis defeated Syracuse 18 to 12. Now, we don't award players of the week. If we did, it would go to the Monarch quarterback, David McFarland at TMP. Now, they lost that game, 32-27, had a chance, drove late, got down to the one yard line, then got a holding penalty, come back, and then McFarland was sacked, the only sack of the night, so TMP stopped short. However, McFarland was 41 of 63 passing, for four touchdowns and 648 yards. That is a new state record. 648 yards is a new state record, as is 63 pass attempts. That's a state record. Now he had 41 completions. That was three shy of the state record, which is 
40, uh, 44. So two state records set by McFarland last week with uh, 648 yards and 63 pass attempts. And again, he was only sacked once in the game. So great job by the offensive line for the Monarchs. And South Gray will be at Trigo tonight. Trigo, of course, victorious over Stockton in an overtime game last week by a score of 40 to 34. We mentioned TMP. You'll see that game next week here on Next Tech Local One as they will host the number one ranked team in Class 2-1A Smith Center. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Mike on the Mic. We want to thank our sponsor, Leon's Welding and Fabrication of Hayes. Till next week, this is Mike Hughes saying so long. We'll see you next Friday night. Stay tuned for this week's Game of the Week. Plainville at Norton coming up next right here on Next Tech Local One.